as a kid, all I could think about was getting out and running around. Heard my teachers and my bosses. As a kid, all I could think about was getting out and running around. Heard my teachers and my bosses making offers to tie me down. But the poets and the misfits, the lost and profound, were talking like the world's a big old tangle of souls. So I set out for the shimmering distance, not dressed for the wind and rain, unaware that any blessing worth having comes with a burden of pain. And all the love and all the hurt, the sacred and profane, are bundled together in the bittersweet tangle of souls. and dirty streets I struggled to hear a kindred heart in the chorus of concrete but by happenstance I chanced upon the ones I needed to meet such a rare thread in this vast tangle of souls between the field of stars tangle of souls It's a fleeting incarnation It's a gift that you can't keep Stardust with a will to live is all there is to me Every atom's borrowed and every heart's a refugee Just looking for home in this strange tangle of souls a clockwork running down some talk like it's a tournament where the coolest gets the crown seems to me it's a pilgrimage and every step is hallowed ground a walk through fire and a holy tangle of souls my brain boggles at the distance that brought this song to you Wide-eyed wandering through 
I'm tired of all this calculating. Waiting around so long. Takes a lonesome rambler to sing a lonesome rambling song. Honey, put your good foot in the room. Figure out the details. Check your numbers twice. If you want to make a break for it, well, don't take that advice. Honey, put your good foot in the room. Exceptions do get made Honey, put your good foot in the road I sure like mama's biscuits and her homemade apple jam But I love the feel of waking up not knowing where I am Honey, put your good foot in the road Careful around the cops Honey, put your good foot in the road There's plenty of generous people On the right and on the left You see we're bound together Like the warp is to the weft Honey, put your good foot in the road Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, Doug Koyama, long time no see, brother. Man, I miss your face. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. It was great to see you last summer in, in uh, Wells, B.C. Oh, man. Well, we are back in the back of the van. I somehow psyched myself out and started the show ahead of time. Yeah, but now we're right this on time. This week. Are we right on oh, time? This part is. We're right on yeah. time. Yeah. It's six o'clock. Yeah, time's always on your side, it seems. <laughs> time, time, time is on your side. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's six o'clock mountain on. time here in Mesa, Arizona. Yeah. We are actually uh, parked Cactus, right outside. Some of my new favorite things <laughs> in the world. Wow. They are amazing. Don't hug them. You're amazing. I want to. Don't they look like they're just asking you to dance, some of them? Come on. <laughs> oh, we're parked right outside pamela's uh folks place in uh, they're snowbirds so this is their this is their winter uh they're here with the geese nesting ground <laughs> yeah um in mesa and it is great to be it is great to be joined by you hello caitlin oh yeah, it's so great thanks to see for our, joining us thanks for friends. sticking with us um Caitlin told me today that uh, you found us through David Wilcox, okay. and today we are joined by David Wilcox. Yeah. So. Um, he's he's coming to us from North Carolina, as is John. Thanks for tuning in, John. <laughs> All right. So um, we got a little bit of we got a little bit of stuff to show you this week, and of course we got David, and we got some songs to sing. And uh, we may as well start off with a song. I'm right in the I'm right in the closet today, aren't I? <laughs> we're we're a real you know plethora oh. <laughs> of stripes and plaid. Yeah, there's Paisley over Paisley. here. Yeah, I'm kind of in the Paisley section here. <laughs> it's a two for one Paisley. <laughs> My daddy's dog was an emboldened retriever If you horsed around he'd chase you Grab the hat right off your head Granddad said he was a genius And he'd make you a believer One time he said, Pal, go get my slippers And Pal did just what he said And when he was old and blind and moaning 
And the vet said there's no use Granddad sat and watched him sleeping Thinking about what he had to do Pa was yipping and running Down in his dreams so deep and That old pup was chasing bunnies in his sleep and There is a river Shining in the sun Sleeping in the tall grass Laughing as it runs And we'll all be delivered I can't say what that means But there is a river There's a river in dreams My grandma was steadfast Faithful all her life Prayed she'd be a good girl Kneeling by her bed Became a one-room schoolhouse teacher A mother and a wife But when all her work was over She began to lose the thread Dreaming in the care home Not hearing the TV Her fingers tracing careful lines Across a page we couldn't see like it was the words of her shepherd Who laid his life down for a sheep She was reading her devotions in her sleep There is a river Shining in the sun Sleeping in the tall grass Laughing as it runs And we'll all be delivered I can't say what that means But there is a river There's a river in dreams My great-grandpa built this house But he got back from World War I Using only salvage lumber And rusty nails he'd straightened out Never complained about the farm work But he loved when it was done In those days every crick in the pastures Was swimming with trout And like he insisted on driving Even when he was going blind Cause he had every twist and turn Of those back roads in his mind In dreams his hands relived the habits that the old man couldn't keep Moving just like he was tying flies in his sleep There is a river Shining in the sun Sleeping in the tall grass Laughing as it runs And we'll all be delivered I can't say what that means there is a river, there's a river in dreams. There is a river in dreams. Oh, nice one, Pamela. That's a nice one you wrote there. Mm. Nice to settle in with a song. Yeah. I gotta confess to you people, we may look calm and put together. I mean, as much as one, a person <laughs> sitting in the middle of a closet can look put together. <laughs> but every time before we go live, I'm panicking. I feel like I'm trying to fly an airplane that's held together with toothpicks and glue. In a windstorm. Yeah. <laughs> Many cardiac arrests under these ah! shirts. <laughs> you showed up pretty chill today, though. <laughs> We're here now. It's the sun, man. It's the sun, dude. <laughs> thanks for joining us, Midge. Uh, hey, thanks for joining us, Margaret, from right hey, inside here in Mesa. Here. <laughs> <laughs> We've been having a blast so far in Arizona. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. been great. Riding bikes. It's been great. Eating Mexican food mm. and enjoying the sun. And we played in a piano showroom here, uh, Stillwell Pianos. Mm. That was pretty amazing. Yeah, Tubac was super um, cool. Uh, Tukumkari, Tukumkari. 
to McCockery. Ah, to McCockery. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. Yeah, we got down to Tubac, where, which is the first place I ever played in Arizona years and years ago. Um, at, at the same spot, at the Tubac Deli. That was great. That's great. Um, on our way into Arizona, uh, we actually, we ended up, uh, as some of you may know, Rodetta's been having some some problems. And when she's feeling especially cranky, she goes into a 10 starts countdown uh, where we only have 10 more times we can start the engine, <laughs> which is what had us. Which quickly becomes nine. Yeah. And, and very then, quickly becomes and eight. And then eight, you it's need to fill up with how, gas. How and you get to three. You got a gig and then, yeah. <laughs> Um, and then we're the jerks idling our vehicle when we stop <laughs> at White Sands National Park to avoid a stop. So if anybody saw a big white van with Canadian <laughs> plates just idling away, we really don't want to do that. But yeah, the the first time that happened, it was we were in Asheville and we had to go to Knoxville. We ended up having to cut our visit to Asheville short, which was unfortunate. And the second time it happened, we were driving across here from Texas and uh, we actually got in to the Tucson Mercedes and uh, well the Tucson Sprinter satellite uh, service station. place and uh, it's very different from the Mercedes service place <laughs> yeah, there's no lattes there yeah no fancy <laughs> coffees also no condescension in the attitude which we both appreciated they're used to dealing with people who live in their vans and uh, you know the guy handed us the bill when he had all he had to do was clear a code on the engine but we understood there would be a charge and uh, when he handed us the bill, it just said 0. 0.00. <laughs> and uh, it was just another reminder of how, how many good people there are out yeah. in the world. And, yeah. Uh, how many random acts of kindness are going on mm, right now? Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we should show you a little bit of footage. Um, Pamela wanted to see the footage, too, because she, she hasn't seen it yet. Um, I was just just putting it together, but... We came, we came through, um, uh, uh, w w where did that start? Nashville. We came through Nashville. We went to the Ryman, and uh, we got to see the Punch Brothers, and we got to hang out at Roberts, and I got to play at the Bluebird, and, uh, and then we went to uh, Charleston and played Mountain Stage. Just want to give you a little snippet of what we've been up to. Hey, thank you, Pamela. <laughs> that was Miko Marks at the end there. Great. 
great killer stuff um so yeah it is today is indeed international women's day um bill worthman we hear we heard from our buddy bill worthman he says he's waiting for shauna caspi at the airport yeah. you must be picking her up for the women yeah, of folkways yeah. i think they got dana. uh dana wiley maria dunn terry morrison is on oh, that yeah. show yeah, too yeah, yeah. um and shauna. And Shauna Caspi, not sure who else. Wow, that's going to yeah. be a killer Sweet. show. Tonight? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Bill will tell Edmonton. us. Edmonton, check it out. Yeah, yeah. If you're in Edmonton, go to Northern Lights Folk Club. Um, And we also had a request from Trevor Howard for International Women's Day. And you got it, man. We'll play it. We'll play it. <laughs> but everybody out there has to sing along. I kind of, you know, I kind of wish I had a even more poignant song to sing for International Women's Day. It's, uh, you know, women did not invent war. I'm certain of that. That's, uh, that's what's been on my mind today. And, uh, yeah, most of the, most of the good, good lessons I've learned in my life have come from the women in my life. Well, I'm sure grateful for and um, yeah I just hope us gents will continue listening open our ears wider well there's a whole lot of uppity women still ain't satisfied with the deal we let them ride right alongside now they want to take the wheel and the fellas keep saying we got this Cause that's the way that it's always been done Don't all the scriptures say a woman should obey Didn't in the man write every last one We could take a little lesson from history All the priests, generals and kings Just nothing like long experience When it comes to making a mess out of things So fellas get out the way Fellas get out the way we had our turn, we had our say. Fellas, get out the, get out the way. Fellas, get out the way. <laughs> now they want choice and pay equality. Wouldn't believe it how they ran free. Back in the day, we just knock them on the head and drag them on back to the cave. And we're still flexing that privilege, though we find ways to ignore it. And ever subtler ways to say she must have been asking for it all. Oh, fellas, get out the way. Fellas, get out the way. We had our turn, we had our say. Fellas, get out the, get out the way. Fellas, get out the way. Tell you what, I thank God that she made women. Every time I'm in a crowd of guys, they might do just fine without us. Without them, we'd be lord of the flies. Whoever said it's bros before hoes, I could tell you that's a load of malarkey. If there's any hope for this whole show, we got to bring on the matriarchy. Fellas, get out the way. Fellas, get out the way. We had our turn, we had our say. Fellas, get out the, get out the way. Fellas, get out the way. I got a guy friend who's 30 years married. He backs her up however he can. He says, happy wife, happy life. Seems to me he's a reasonable man. I got a gal friend who's tougher than me. If you cross her, there'll be hell to pay. When I hold the door, it ain't chivalry. No, I'm just getting out of her way. Fellas, get out the way. Fellas, get out the way. We had our turn, we had our say. Fellas, get out the, get out the way. Fellas, get out the way. Louder at home there. Fellas, get out the way. Fellas, get out the way. <laughs> we had our turn, we had our say. Fellas, get out the, get out the way. Fellas, get out the way. Mmm. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. A little less male incompetence and positions of power would be great to that see, would it not? Would be great. <laughs> Pamela, you're all over that thing. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Isn't she killing it? <laughs> Since when, like, how long have you called yourself a bass player? Well, since the pandemic started, I've started learning how to play it. Mm -hmm. Since I had all this chance to play with you, thank you very much. Wow. That's, you and Elliot earlier on. In that's, the not even, that's not even two years. Yeah, I guess we're coming up to two years. Isn't she killing it? <laughs> She's killing it. She's absolutely killing it. <laughs> oh, thanks for joining us, Meg. Hey, there's your friend, Michelle. Oh, Michelle. Uh, <laughs> 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 I want to try some of that that uh, sourdough bread that you've been making. Oh, Michelle, yeah. And all these other things. Hey, look, there's Lee saying hello to Bill. This is the best. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cora Feeder. Oh, wow. Cora's joining us Looking from the Bay Area. Thank you for tuning you in. Soon. As a matter of fact, next Tuesday. Oh, great. Right here. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Okay, great. And then next weekend in California and uh, at Berkeley, in Berkeley at... Uh, Boy, I have to look so I can remember. Sunday, March 20th, we'll be at the back room in Berkeley, California. And we are so looking forward to seeing you, Cora. That's going to be killer. But Cora will be here joining us in the back of the van next Tuesday okay, at 6. Great. Eric, man, thanks for sticking with us. Auntie Lorraine. Hey, Lorraine. Hey, Barb. <laughs> thanks for sticking with us. Hey, Barb. Oh, look at that, Lori. You got your request in advance. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mitch. All right. Um, well, we should show you. We should show you just a little bit more footage. This is what we've been seeing. Let me see. Is it this one? I hope so. No, it's not that one. You already saw that one. It's this one. Conoces a. Claudia le contesta, no, but I know her family. No, pero conozco a su familia. Dígale a Claudia, Maria is a friend of mine. Maria es amiga mía. Es amiga mía. Es buena amiga mía. Es buena, es buena amiga, mía. amiga mía. Es amiga suya. Ah, uh. no, birds are still singing their songs <laughs> in little oasis of serenity and no. beauty out there. I was just about when you showed me there on screen. I think I was just about crying when mm. we got there. So pretty. It was a really, it was a surprise to come mm. upon that water, mm. and uh, 
after yeah, it's so yeah in the in desert yeah. yeah yeah beautiful beautiful look at carrie morin's here oh, hey carrie Hope he you says you're your killing it you're doing well out there. you are killing it <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Hey, Liz. Oh, your mom says you're killing it big time. <laughs> Come on. And my dad says it would certainly be great to see more women leading nations, and we second that. Hey, Tim. Thanks for showing oh, up, Jim. man. Cheers. It's so great to meet yeah, you the other day. Small world of connections there. <laughs> hey, Millie. Wow. <laughs> so glad you can make it. All right, we better bring our guest on, I think. Um, so, uh, David Wilcox, wow, he's an amazing performer. I got an order, I got a CD order um, back when I was putting out Tangle of Souls from David Wilcox, and I was like, what? David Wilcox? And um, yeah, mailed it out to him. We've been in touch. I've guessed it on his show, uh, on, on one of his impromptu web shows, and, uh, and just the other day, we, uh, we parked in his driveway. Thanks again. <laughs> And we, we were given a box of do-it-yourself nostril tests. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Thanks true. Us, David. We still have them. We, <laughs> <laughs> we've got your, we've got your, um, antigen, rapid antigen Your tests. nostril scrubbers. <laughs> it's such a lovely, uh, housewarming present, you know? <laughs> it really is. A parting gift. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, brother. Thank you. How are it's, you? I'm good, and it's inspiring to see your travels. I love that you're doing the video stuff and giving us a window into that world. It's it's beautiful that you're stitching us all back together uh, with mm. your beautiful songs, and it's great to hear you play in that bass, Pamela. Yeah, thanks, David. It it feels it feels it feels great and fun, and I'm so glad I rented this little one so it can fit inside of our van. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a special van and a special bass. You need those two to yeah. really to and play the bass inside I bet you the van. Which most bass rentals don't include mileage. <laughs> <laughs> but you know if they knew just how far <laughs> <laughs> we should it's take some pictures of the base in various now. places exactly, yeah yeah, yeah. The, the landscape alone yeah i've been collecting photos for the guy we bought the van from just to yeah. just to show him you know show him where all it's been <laughs> yeah. well we should start with a song from you david and then okay. we'll have a chat sounds lovely sweet Speaking of sounds lovely, so does your guitar. We came away with nothing. We ran from the home we'd known. Down the stairs, running scared to face the great unknown. We left the front door open, no key for a souvenir. Where to go when all we know is home will not be here The path remains unclear We make the way by walking We make the way by walking We left the well-worn circle We left the city lights we Came up here where the air is clear And the stars are bright at night Maybe there's a distant valley Maybe it's a ways away We're all here on the new frontier Cause we knew we could not stay We knew we could not stay Sing We make the way by walking We make the way by walking Now, Scott, I know that when you sing a harmony If you were to unmute and sing a harmony I mean, not a harmony, but just sing exactly what I'm singing. The zoom delay will create this beautiful sort of fuguing tune. It'll come in in a really interesting time, and let's try it once. We make the way by walking. We make the way by walking. <laughs> it's daring, I know, but you can try it if you want. So anyway, they've left. The bombs are falling. 
now they're going over the mountain, getting to the border. I climbed a little bit higher, some things you cannot unsee. I walked a few miles further, and the walking set me free. And then you were walking with me, and you asked if I knew the way. I made you laugh when I said our path might be a road someday, might be a road someday. Our steps are the boats we cast The crazy few that have seen this view May not be the last The way that a pilgrim travels Is to set off for parts unknown But if history is kind We're the ones who may find The way we all come home We make the way by My friend, <laughs> that was fun. I love how maybe if the tempo's right, the zoom delay just works perfectly. It just makes it loop around like a yeah, like a fugue. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gorgeous! Beautiful what what song. an invitational song to sing along to. That mm. that is a real beautiful yeah. holding your hand through that. Thank mm. you. Yeah, it feels to me like, you know, these times are unprecedented, you know? You can't just look at a map and see, how do I get through a pandemic, you know? Because mm -hmm. the people who have mm -hmm. experience did it 100 years ago, and mm -hmm. they're not able to tell mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, psychologically, spiritually, I'm discovering the big need I have just for being hooked up with the energy and the vibes of I'm a herd animal, you know? I, hmm. I need people around. And uh, I, I have been um, really letting myself feel that. You know, the first year of the pandemic, I just stayed really busy. And I wrote a mm. lot of songs, and that's mm. fine. But I realized I was kind of missing it in a way. Hmm. Um, it, it sort of reminded me of um, years ago, I, I did a ropes course. And on one little tight wire section, I was so nervous that I just couldn't move forward. I was, you know, my legs were shaking. So I just used my focus. I just looked at the wire above me that was attached to the rollers that attached to the harness that attached to the... And I realized I'm totally safe. That wire would hold a truck. And so then I breezed across the next couple of events, but I realized that's not what I came here for. I came here to let myself experience that fear hmm. and kind of talk it through with my body and and learn how to make it my friend, you know? And so that kind of thing, that shift of at first just being really busy and, you know, I'm okay, I'm an introvert anyway. But the second year of the pandemic, I started letting myself really feel it. And, uh, and missing profoundly the, the stuff that really gives me life. And, uh, mm. and so that has changed the stuff that I'm writing about. And, and now I find myself more writing about, um, you know, there's this woods up behind our house and Nance and I walk up there in the day, pretty much every day. But one night I was up there and it, it was a pretty good moon. So I shut off the flashlight and at first, I couldn't take a step. But, you know, your eyes adjust. Hmm. And I realized I have enough light. And uh, I had to wait through that feeling of, you know, uh, I can't do this. Uh, and, and wait for that wild adjustment. And in terms of this pandemic, it's been a fascinating thing to let so many things fall away um, and find uh, that I do have enough light 
when I really open to the light. <laughs> so wow. that has been what I've been up to lately. Mm-hmm. That's a really, <laughs> that's a very potent moment too of allowing yourself just to wait to yeah. adjust because yeah. panic can come into that oh, moment for me. Yeah. It's, I know the one about the light too. Sometimes, you know, in a campground, I won't bring oh, my yeah, headlamp yeah. or something yeah. or I'll turn it off and then <gasps> yeah. I can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> and Man, you just what? have to wait and trust mm. and then there is an adjustment and you can carry on. Yeah. I do love the feeling of seeing the sort of yellow windows of your camper van when when you're coming back to the, you know, we traveled for a couple of years with an Airstream and Mm. uh, coming back uh, to the Airstream, seeing the life in that little yeah, and that little nest. It is sweet. Yes, <laughs> I love that feeling yeah. under the little, big starry little sky. Bit of whiskey to warm up yeah. with. <laughs> yeah. All the com- comforts yeah. that you know are in there. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. We wanted to ask you about that airstream time. When yeah. when was that? That was when Nate was in middle school. We figured the best thing we could do for middle school was to get mm. Nate the hell out of public school (laughs) Mm. (laughs) and so we just traveled around we did two big laps of the country you know sort of adjusting weather with latitude Uh so we were uh you know in uh glacier national park in august and we were at big bend in december and just kind of like rolled around like that so we Uh went east and west and all over it was lovely we saw so many beautiful national parks but Mm -hmm. the best places to camp were not just friends but friends of friends because we would gather the people in a neighborhood just like what the hell is that camper doing in front of their house and the neighbors would come over and I'd play music and Nance would help people you know like we'd be baking stuff and she'd be showing them how to do this and that and making chocolate and and so the neighbors would have such a fun time meeting their neighbors, you know. Um, wow. We brought the whole neighborhood together. A little Chautauqua. Oh, and so man. the next time we were heading out, you know, they would say, so where are you guys going? Oh, Santa Fe. Oh, we know people. Wait, wait, yeah. let's call. And they would call the people and they'd tell them about these crazy campers. And next thing you know, we're being welcomed by a family we've never met. But they just trust their friends. Totally. <laughs> uh, it was great. Yeah. That's beautiful. Wow. <laughs> wow. Hey, we got to tell you, we, uh, we, I mentioned earlier in the show that uh, Caitlin found us through uh, the show with you, but so did this guy, Clark Post, mm-hmm. in Buena Vista, Colorado. Yeah. And uh, he made the trip down from Buena Vista to Santa Fe to see us and uh and we got to have a beer in the back of rodetta oh, we had a guest <laughs> and then we decided we need to get a guest book oh, so we nice. can have our guests yeah. sign in you know yeah. and clark yeah. we're gonna save a spot in the top for you clark says he wants he wants us all to come to buena vista all right. all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man david you know what you sound so lovely and i want to listen to more of your songs I think I think to I told you another. it was two songs, but I want I would I'd like to hear at least two more, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so this is a song about that waiting for my soul to adjust. I move through the trees just by moonlight. Switch off the torch and I trust. Deep in the Wait for my eyes to adjust Finding my way to be winding See there's a new way to know Open my senses to show me the way to go Set down my distraction The smart screen's too bright Follow my heart and open my sight to the night. I just need a trace of light. Yeah, I reside in the quiet and the stillness. All that empty time to think. I 
didn't blink Whispering trees somehow soothe me Never as dark as it seems I come to my senses Led by the light of my dreams Switch off my distraction The smart screen's too bright Follow my heart, open my sight to the night. I just need a trace of light. See my dream before me, and it shows me where to go. Set down my distraction, the smart screen's too bright. Follow my heart, open my sight to the night. Just need a trace of light. <laughs> oh, beauty, David. Wow. Wow. Man, your guitar sounds nice. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, so it's all coming across so mm. perfectly. It's fun, uh, you know, being at home because when I travel, I just decided I'm always going to travel light. I'm always going to have just one guitar. And that was kind of like the frame around the picture. It's just like mm. I, I, if I moved outside of that, everything falls apart. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean by everything falls apart is, um, you know, one summer I toured with a band, you know, and I was buying five hotel rooms and all, all that diesel and it, mm -hmm. it didn't make it any better. It made mm -hmm. it more complex, but not more soulful. And mm. a lot of people that like my music, you know, they just thought, yeah, sounds interesting, but we like the solo thing. And mm. I'm the same way. So um, I just decided one guitar. Mm. So um, when I'm home, you know, I, I have all these guitars that I love to write with. And they all have different personalities. And um, mm. they all bring out different kind of uh, emotions and different voices. And uh, it's fun to, uh, to have them um, try different songs in different characters, you know. Okay. Like mm. sing a sad song with a with a a lonesome guitar or an angry guitar or a hollow guitar and it just comes out so different you know um mm. so it's fascinating um <laughs> you know. wow hey i'm curious about about the early days when you were traveling around yeah um even even kind of you know when you're when you're folk singing was just getting going yeah um yeah could you tell us a bit about about those days um do you have a more specific question like the emotional sure. thing behind the question because i could there's a lot of i could find the right answer for the right medicine you know well i guess just just uh when you were talking about keeping it traveling light i was just thinking yeah. about you know i was thinking about back when all i wanted to do was travel i didn't really want to you know uh, building a career in music wasn't necessarily part of my yeah. dream so much as just yeah. just seeing new places and meeting people and uh and the the sort of taking myself seriously as an as an artist i guess came along the way but uh um just because you've been at it a while i'm i'm just curious about what those well you know i'm the same way i use music sort of uh for kind of an off label purpose you know um <laughs> Uh, for me, what I wanted was a life that felt as good as a good song. And hmm. I didn't know how to find that. 
Um, but I studied the microcosm of gathering a focused vision. Um, when I when I say gathering a focused vision, that's synonymous with writing a song. You know, that's mm. like how I write a song. Is there's thousands of decisions that all get judged according to, is this the way I want it to feel? Is that the way? Is that more like I want it to feel? And the vision is not just a song. It's a way of seeing the world and a way of sort of being at home in my skin and a way of persevering. You know, it's like digging a deeper well for my source, for my livelihood. And not livelihood money. I mean, like, depth of life. Hmm. And so, um, so for me, the, the music has always been my sort of uh, my gauge, my way of measuring if I'm sort of in tune in my life. Um, and the weirdest example of that is years ago, Nance and I were buying a house. And I was traveling around Nance and me and the real estate person, and she was showing us all these different houses. And she would just roll her eyes, but I would take my guitar into each empty house mm. and play a couple <laughs> songs. And I'd come out and say, nope, we don't live here. She'd say, did you look at the kitchen? I'd say, doesn't matter. <laughs> wow. So doesn't it's resonate. weird, but I knew that Music had a way of getting to my heart deeper than most other things. And so mm. I would use that as a way to, like, measure th other things in my life. Um, how does the music respond to this? How does it respond to that? Um, and so, um, so, like, choosing gigs was bewildering because... You know, there were people who'd say, oh, I, you should play here. The money's really good. And I'd say, no, it's too expensive. They'd say, what do you mean? I'd say, well, by the time you leave there, you know, your strength of music is less than it was when you started. Hmm. Hmm. And, you know, it's harder to believe that music matters. Hmm. And that costs too much. Yeah, and so I'd rather price. just figure out a way to live cheaper <laughs> and play places where my music is nurtured. It's like the difference between just this year's harvest and let all the soil wash into the river or mm. think about your grandchildren on this land, mm. you know? So uh, it's just a way of thinking about uh, what if music is just a way to tune your life, you know? And mm. uh, so that's what I wanted out of music. Wow. Uh, that's beautiful stuff, wow, man. Yeah. Well, why don't we sing you a song? And, Good. Uh, and Thanks. then we'll bring you back. You can sing us another before okay. you go. Great. All right. Yeah. This, this feels like a like a wellness retreat. Yeah. I feel like yeah. a, just a better person being in <laughs> David's perspective on the world and, and music. Thank you, David, for being here with us. And everyone else who is out there as well. We're, we can see your comments down the right-hand side here. And uh, it's lovely to have you with us. This is, uh, this is an old song. We don't know who wrote it, but uh, I wrote some new verses to it. Some of you may already know it. Join us in singing if you like. You got to walk that lonesome valley. You got to walk it by yourself. Nobody else can walk it for you. You got to walk that valley by yourself. Now there was a slave girl, Isabella bomb free, sold three times in her youth. She took her child and walked to freedom. She took the name Sojourner True. She took a white man to court and won. She said, I'll do anything a man can do. And I'll eat as much as any man if I can get it. If black men will vote, why can't I vote too? 
she had to walk that lonesome valley she had to walk it by herself nobody else could walk it for her she had to walk that valley by herself then there was a priest Named Father Berrigan Trying to make sense Of what Jesus said He heard his country Was burning children He and his friends Burned draft records instead He said now what if You really meant it Loved your fellow man Like you love your Lord Pennsylvania, they destroyed warheads, making plowshares out of souls. Dan Berrigan walked that lonesome valley. He had to walk it by himself. Nobody else could walk it for him. He had to walk that valley by himself Then there was a soldier named Bradley Manning Without a friend, so far from home, in a body that never fit right, knowing things no one should know. Said, What would you do with this information? Wouldn't it help the world if it were known? Got 11 months. Quantico for starters With the lights on Naked and alone Chelsea Manning had to walk That lonesome valley She had to walk it by herself Nobody else could walk it for her She had to walk that valley by herself if you got to walk that lonesome valley, you got to walk it by yourself. Nobody else can walk it for you. You got to walk that valley by yourself. You got to walk that valley by yourself. Oh, you were jamming. Wow, it's so beautiful to hear you play and sing <laughs> that. Oh, man, I love those new words. Wow. Oh, thanks, That's really. really cool. Yeah, you know, when I was looking at it, there was just uh, there was just a lot of verses about Bible characters, and I thought, you know, there's, there's so many modern-day heroes yeah. um, that, we, that we haven't heard enough about, you know. Um, you know, two nights ago, I watched a documentary on Oscar Peterson, Canadian mm. keyboard player. Mm -hmm. You know, every time I watch a documentary about somebody, I think, I wonder if they knew, you know, like how significant their life was. And mm -hmm. obviously, most of us never would dream that our lives would be that significant because we never see a documentary about ourselves and if we did we'd say oh come on it wasn't like that it was mostly just <laughs> hard road and we're down to four starts you know i got one elbow in the closet you know i'm just like strumming my way <laughs> <laughs> Lost in the play. But I, I hope you can get a glimpse 
of the beauty that you guys are carrying of the 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 way that um that i use the phrase stitching us together and i think there is something about that not just in your travels but in your songs and in that um your daring ability to make us realize that um we have so many more choices than we think we do and yeah Mm. it's wow thank you brother it's good it's good Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, we should we should get another song from you okay. before we before we wrap this show up. Yeah. It's such a pleasure <laughs> hanging out with you, mm. David. Hey, Bonnie. Hey, Bonnie. Hey, Bonnie. Hey, So this is a song about finding a way in the midst of all our sorrows to also be connected to that beautiful story of what we are a part of as we push the frontiers of what humans are capable of doing as a civilization, as a culture. And... uh, So finding the ways that we can stay inspired. At first, it would seem selfish, you know, like in the middle of wartime and big issues to be concerned about your own inspiration. And yet, you know, it's like they teach you in in lifeguard school. If somebody's out there drowning, don't just swim out and drown with them. Throw them something that floats. (laughs) So this is about finding the things that are emotionally buoyant for you, the things that matter, the things that really find you where you are and lift you up. And uh, yeah, for me, it's been this simple sound, but the song is written. Imagine being in an art museum in the middle of a (laughs) hailstorm. You can hear the pouring rain outside. But inside... You're seeing these windows into beauty in the frames around the paintings. You ask a painter to change the world, he'd be overwhelmed, but you say, no, no, just just within the frame. Just do this little thing, you know, like ride around in your van and play some music. Yeah, I can do that. (laughs) I'm looking at the paintings in this great museum. The news of one more shooting made me long to cry. I'd love to work for justice and for peace and freedom But right now I need a refuge that is quiet and dry So I come to see the beauty when the world is tragic An umbrella stops the rain but it won't dry the sky And this play of light and shadow is transcendent magic And it changes the whole universe least inside in the ocean deep when these waves are steep every hope I keep betrays me it's the beautiful that saves me So I'm walking past these priceless works of famous artists But in between those canvases it's cold white wall These painters found a crucible for their catharsis But they knew that no rendition could contain it all I'm fearful of the riptide in the sea of sorrow And I don't have any faith to make these waters part But if I venture out there I would drown a martyr 
And it feels so overwhelming I can barely start In the ocean deep When these waves are steep Every hope I keep Betrays me It's the beautiful that saves me Now the woman at the coat check hands me back my raincoat Stay warm out there she smiles and looks me in the eye I take her simple kindness like we're in the same boat and we all need some protection from the storm outside. We are underneath the cloud of all this dark emotion. But I'll make it through the storm because I've warmed my heart. A wooden hulk can rest above a deep, dark ocean. And a window into beauty is a place to start. In the ocean deep When these waves are steep Every hope I keep Betrays me It's the beautiful That saves me it's the beautiful. Ah, oh, so beautiful. That was so beautiful, David. Thank you Thank for you. that. Thank you. You know what? We're going to leave it on that note because oh, that is just the perfect that note that to end it on. It <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, hang around for a sec if you want. We want to we want to chat to you a bit after sure. uh, after yeah. the people uh, after we shut the show off. Enjoy but, some uh, of the comments <laughs> and things. If any you? if anybody wants to throw money in the tip jar to help us get on down the road, that's how it's done. And uh, if anybody wants to uh, check out David's music, it's on davidwilcox.com. Yeah, we had so many sweet comments come in um, from people, including, uh, including somebody saying, our friend Fred saying, when are you coming to Australia? <laughs> and our friend um, Marilyn saying, when are you coming to Alberta? <laughs> 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 yeah. It's good to be home, though, isn't it? Yeah, those are yeah. cheap trips. <laughs> I, I would, I would love to be both of those places. Yes, I mm. love being in Australia. Sydney's my favorite city, mm. Um, mm. and uh, I loved the all the travels around the South Island. It was so beautiful. So, mm. yeah, we we stayed for a long time in Nelson, you know, top of the South. It was lovely. Oh mm. yeah, in, in in New Zealand. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, we we really dug it there too. One of these days, I hope to get back over. Mm. Well, thanks so much for joining us, brother, and thank you so much for joining us, friends out there. Yeah. We'll be back here, same bat time, same bat channel, <laughs> on Tuesday with Cora Feeder, calling in from the Bay Area, and uh, and then every Tuesday for the foreseeable future, as long as you keep joining us. So. Take care, everybody. Mm -hmm. As a kid, all I could think about was getting out and running around. Heard my teachers and my bosses making offers to tie me down. But the poets and the misfits, the lost and profound, were talking like the world's a big old tangle of souls. So 
Well, I set out for the shimmering distance, not dressed for the wind. 